Uh, um, I think the Irish bar is supposed to be pretty good in Rotterdam. I think there's been people there the last few nights, so we might check that out and see where to go from there then. Okay, maybe I'll see you there. Okay, so maybe a little bit about the race. Um, you you picked it up. Something you said something earlier in the start, which wasn't uh, wasn't as planned, but you picked it up real quick. Mm. Um, I think I was a bit wobbly in the the first stroke, but um, after that, then I got it pretty pretty well together. And usually I'm a bit slow in the first half of the race, but I found myself. But I think I was a little bit behind, but I was in contact with the, the leaders. And after in coming into the second quarter of the race, then the Slovenian Rico Havrat, he really kind of upped the pace. And I was in the same semi-final as him. And through the middle, he took a massive lead on me. And um, I had to put in a huge sprint finish in to try and catch him, and I only barely made it. So I said, um, I'd try and go with him today. And I, I kind of matched him then. And around the halfway mark, then I was feeling pretty good. So I opened up a bit of a lead. And then I could see the rest of them. Then there was um, Galan Bosch of Hungary and um, the Babac then of Slovakia. They, they started to put on the pressure then. But um, I was feeling pretty good, and I managed to, to hold a bit of a lead. And I was getting fairly happy and excited coming into the line. And I was looking around a bit just to, to see the, the crowd because there's um, a lot of guys over from the Skibreen Rowing Club where I'm from to, to support and stuff. And I was just making sure that I, did, I didn't miss anybody that might be ahead of me. And I took a little bit of a wobble, but um, I think I was far enough ahead of that stage that it didn't cost me anything. Yeah. So you had a pretty pretty strong headwind. Yeah. And to be honest, you were striking a 38 uh, pretty pretty uh, pretty uh, far in the race, right? Yeah. Pretty pretty, pretty uh, quick already. <laughs> I mean, say. I think so. I think I have. I think I have my oars set about the same uh, length as girls would have it. So it was pretty light for me. So I had to keep the rate up. Well, but that was that was a uh, was your opinion of uh, you did it on purpose, right? So yeah, yeah. Because of the wind and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Because I was sure. watching the race and it was it looked so intense and all that. Yeah. All that speed, but that's that's your style, right? I think so. Yeah, it felt pretty easy to me anyway. So I was I was quite happy with it. Yeah. Also, when you were uh, you you sat on the on the podium, and you said you were uh, striking uh, 38. You ended your you started with your end sprint. Only 600 meters uh, before the for the finish. Yeah. Um, was that your plan, or was it um, uh, was it needed? I d I didn't even realize what stroke it I was doing. I don't think. Um, I think I could have went up a bit more if I had. To. I think um, I didn't do too much work in the middle of the race in the in the semi final, and I think I was up at about 45 or six in the finishing sprint to, to catch the Slovenian. So um, luckily I didn't have to do that today because uh, I I did a bit more during the middle. Yeah, yeah. I, I was watching you finish, and it looked like you weren't tired at all. You no, were, you were, you were, you yeah, were really, I was uh, feeling pretty good. Yeah, um, that's I great. wanted to try and win by open water because um, I was in the pub in Rio after uh, the Olympics, and uh, one of my mates that I used to row when I was younger, he was over there supporting, and he was um, he was asking me how much uh, did I think I could win it here, and and how much could I win it by, and I was kind of. I was a bit drunk at the time and I was saying I could win it by open water and after only half a second uh, winning it in the, the semi-final I said I had to try and prove a point to him as well that, <laughs> so that I could do a bit more. So to prove a point you said okay let's, yeah. uh, let's go for it. Okay. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah. So uh, are there any uh, particular boats you're, uh, you're keen to see here? Um, I think it'll be nice to see some of the junior races um, this evening and tomorrow. Uh, there's uh, two junior girls in the junior women's double from my rowing club. Uh, one of them is my coach's daughter as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, and okay. another girl from Skibreen. So um, they'll be pretty exciting to watch. Um, and the junior men's double as well. They're coached by my uncle. So, <laughs> so there's a lot of... Uh, lot of okay, yeah, right. yeah. Okay, cool. So, um, it'll be good to cheer them on now. So uh, you're a total legend. Uh, can I take a selfie with you? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Thanks. Thanks very much, man. Congratulations. Cheers. And, uh,